So we may be really close to having robots that work 100% of the time out in the wild. So Physical Intelligence recently announced their new model, PyStar 0.6, that allows the robot to actually learn from its mistakes. So it was able to make coffee for 13 hours without any intervention. So that's a huge progress because previously, a lot of the AI models, when they're working, when it fails, it's not able to recover, but this model is able to learn from its mistakes and recover from them. If you're new here, my name is Kevin, and I've been doing robotics and AI for 10 plus years and have lots of resources on my channel. I also have a master's robotics and AI bundle, as well as the robotics project bundle. Go ahead and check it out at kevinwoodrobotics.com. So they've applied this model to various different use cases. So one, for example, is folding boxes, which you see here. This one is played at 80 times speed, but you can see that it's able to continuously operate without any mistake for a really long time. And next example that you can see here is that they have another one here where they're folding clothes. So this right here is a totally new environment that the robot has never seen before. So it's able to autonomously fold clothes pretty accurately without any mistakes and no intervention as well. So this is a huge progress in terms of deploying robots out in the wild because you should be able to handle unseen things and do it reliably, which is what this new model addresses. So they're able to do this using a technique they call recap, which is called RL with experience and corrections via advantage conditioned policies. So the idea is they're using reinforcement learning to basically have the model figure out the difference between good and bad action. So they're able to do this with some intervention. So you can see right here during the training process, they intervene to give it feedback. So here's a clip of it you can see here. So part of it is autonomous. And then when the user sees there's something wrong, the user will intervene to correct it and show the robot the correct movements. And then after it shows it the correct movements, it'll continue doing the autonomous operation. So it's only during training that they're intervening, but then after that, when you're actually running inference, it uses that knowledge to actually make better actions and choices so that the model is more reliable. So you can see right here, this is some examples you could read it through, but they have this special thing is called the value function. So it goes from zero to one and basically the closer you are to one you can see as i drag it here it means that there's a higher likelihood of making the right actions getting closer to completing the task and then when the value is slower you can see the white graph here that's peaking down it means there's a lower probability so this helps some of the model give a uh, kind of guide it to you know not stay in the low region for too long. So it is in a way uses this value as a feedback loop to make better decisions. So you can see right here, this is the general structure of what's happening. So right here we have the pi 0.6 model and you have the advantage value function right here. This is what we just talked about. So this is kind of making it adjust the different choices that it makes. And then the intervention here, as we talked about, you can see this is being passed through that allows some of the RL to learn from its mistakes. And here you can see these are some of the graphs showing the performance for here we have box assembly, laundry, making espresso, another box assembly one. This is uh, laundry, t-shirt, shorts, and hardest items. You can see the success rate is getting very close to 100. So I'm thinking in pretty short amount of time, we might be able to see some of these robots be deployed in the wild and actually work close to almost all the time. So go ahead and check out this blog. You could read more about some of their latest updates. They also have a paper that they released recently too. So you could go ahead and check it out to read more about their implementation details. All right, if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.